This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back again. Uh, now, uh, here in this session, I'll uh, cover a very small uh, topic. Uh, generally, uh, recently during interview questions, the uh, interviewer was asked a very simple question. Generally, it's, it's like a pretty simple. If you know about that, then it is going to be, of course, every question is simple. If you don't know, then only it is going to be difficult. The question was, what is dynamic selection? I was also very surprised. My student was there. He said, like, so if you ask what is what is dynamic selection? What do you mean by dynamic selections? Okay. So during some discussions, I think some discussion was happening. And in that, he said, like, with the help of dynamic selections, you can get that report. Then he simply said, yes, 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 like that. So I'll tell you guys, if the interviewer, whoever is going to ask the questions and all, they are having more than 10 years, 12 years, 14 years of experience. The way you are going to respond immediately, they'll come to know whether you're having understanding of that particular topic or not. Then he asked the counter question, do you have this dynamic selection, what I'm talking about? Now he's stuck there itself. So I'll tell you, this is a pretty simple thing, guys. Of course, it is there. Uh, into It has nothing to do with account payable generally, uh, because if you talk about like report for account payable there, also you'll be having this options. If you talk about general ledger report, FBL3N, there also you'll be having options of this dynamic selections. And even in account receivable also, you'll be having options of these dynamic selections. What is the use of dynamic selection, guys? Let's suppose. I'll just do one thing. First of all, let me post a few transactions, then I'll be able you know, I'll be able to explain you. Every 60. I'm going to post some invoices. Okay. I'm going to post some invoices, guys, and then I'll okay. so here. Save it. And then again, like let's suppose. Save it. Now, now I'm going to post certain credit memo. From here also you can go. Or else directly you can use transition code FB 65. So look at here credit. You can to specify the narration here, like against which uh, document number this credit memo is going to be posted. You can specify here, but simply I'm not going to give any narrations here, guys. Okay, because we are testing something else. But generally, in real time, if somebody is going to post a credit memo, so invoice number is supposed to be given against which invoice this credit memo is going to be posted. That can be specified here. Save it. Now, again, I'm going to post some more credit memo, guys. Let's suppose credit memo post it, and I'll post one more credit memo. What is this credit memo is already explained in previous session, guys. So you can hope you guys are able to remember. Now I have posted your credit memo also. Save it. Check the reports. F B L one N. Vendor reports, right? So here you need to give the vendor number and execute. If you click on open item, it means whichever the unpaid invoices are there is going to be visible. And if you click on all like all item, then all the paid and unpaid both invoices are going to be visible. So anyway, even if you're going to click on open item also, since we are having multiple open item, it is going to be visible here. Look at here. This is overdue. And these are 
not due. In sorry, these are the due in the same invoice which we have posted today. It is going to be due today itself. This overdue due concept again. Uh, once I start this terms of payment, then you guys will be able to answer. So look at here, guys. Now, now what is happening here? So okay. So here, multiple invoices and multiple credit memo we have posted. Likewise, might be 100, 200 invoices and credit memo we have already posted. Already posted, right? Then, uh, or is like there will be a thing called down payment also, advance payment. What is this down payment is also going to be I'll explain, guys. Don't worry. So down payment is also posting posted. Now, how like uh, if 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 you want to see that how many credit memo we have posted against this vendor, or how many down payment we have posted against this vendor. Or else how many invoices only has been posted so right now everything will appear down payment is also going to appear here uh, credit memo is also going to appear here invoice is also going to appear so if you want to see only credit memo so two things are there either you need to select here and you need to click on filter and then you have to give your down payment sorry uh, let you want to see the credit memo so kz document type you can give and press it look at here only these things are going to credit memo only going to appear or else even you have other options also if you come back and if you go inside again that is gone because the setting which you, the you know conditions which you have applied you just applied a filter so once you came back filter is gone we are having one more option other option is so here like let's suppose this is called selection parameter here in the sense for which company code you want to see the report for tata motor under tata motor multiple vendors are there so for which vendor so here i have given the vendor number right against this vendor multiple line items are there multiple invoices are there so do you want to add some more criteria so yes i want to add some more criteria what criteria guys so like whatever the credit memos are there that only i want to see or whatever invoices are there that only i want to see or is whatever the down payment is there that is only i want to see so here we are having if you want so this is called like selection parameter we are going to increase right so you are having look at your symbol this is called dynamic selections if you are going to click here click here look at here now selection parameters are going to be increased okay you just come down under document we are having here document date okay come here document type somewhere document type i'm going to give if you are going to give kr that is for invoices so give kr press enter and if you execute look at here one active it means apart from this criteria we have given one more criteria where in dynamic selections right execute so now what will happen all the invoices are going to appear in that again furthermore you want to add some more criteria some more criteria means the invoices supposed to appear let's suppose you have posted some invoices right and now you found there is some mistake so since if you are going to check the vendor number in that vendor like 200 invoices are already open item is, is going to be shown as an open item or 500 invoices are there as an open item so one by one it is not possible to you know check right if it is four or five transactions then easily one by one you can check it so we are going to add one more criteria if you are able to remember the date you can specify okay on so and so date i post it okay so let's suppose so posting date is also you can add here click on the down button look at your posting date so let's suppose i'm going to use 16 and if you execute then now look at here 
again some invoices got deselected some invoices got deselected right so dynamic selection means what guys this is a selection parameter what is the use of dynamic selections this is a selection parameter if somebody asks what do you mean by generally these questions this is a very simple question guys i was also surprised like why uh, the interviewer is going to ask such kind of you know small questions or easy questions but i'll tell you guys nothing is easy if you know the things then only it is going to be easy for you and if you don't know the things then it is going to be quite difficult if you haven't heard about this dynamic selections i'll tell you guys whichever tutorials you are going to watch whatever the things are there you will be finding anywhere these things and i'm not saying this is a very difficult thing this is a very small things only you have given all the answers and let's suppose if you have made a silly mistake somewhere then whatever answers you have given is going to be ignored by interviewer and is going to count the mistake silly mistake which you have done right so this dynamic selection is what guys you can say that while uh, what to say if we are going to check any reports let's suppose vendor report customer report or geo reports see this dynamic selection i have given here right two active is there two active means this and this you go to fbl3 and gl report here also you are having here also you will be having okay likewise in upcoming classes there will be account receivable there also you are having like customer reports if you want to see there also you'll be having this dynamic selections so it is going to increase the selection parameters right now let's suppose if you if you hide this dynamic selections so we are having only two things gl account wise and company code wise we can say this see the report furthermore in that gl account how many transactions i have posted for a particular business area how system will how you are going to how you come to know how many transactions you have posted against a particular for a particular date against a particular document type right and multiple other things also will come into you know picture guys like since still like very less number of things only i have covered guys right so terms of payment and all i have not covered yet so even terms of payment wise mm -hmm. also if you want to select so how it is going to happen so of course you are having dynamic selections where you are having options of various fields right if you click here so whatever this green colored things are there that is appearing here under dynamic selections okay whatever green color account group trading partner look at here account group trading partner right apart apart from this like multiple this whatever this green colors are there that will appear here account currencies come down here like look at here posting date document date assignment fiscal year is not appearing if you click on this side look at here everything is assignment everything is appearing fiscal year is not appearing if you have to search fiscal year wise financial year wise then you just need to do one thing double click on fiscal year now you just come back here fiscal year is also going to appear somewhere look at here it is appearing if you double click here it is going to be part of the selection parameter so this is what this is how what is happening guys this is what the use of dynamic selections this is just going to increase the selection parameters and all like you can say that's a dynamic selections with the help of dynamic dynamic selections what is happening it is going to give us some additional options in the form of selections parameter let's suppose i have to get the gl report i have to get the vendor report i want to get the vendor report uh, for a particular vendor but in that also additional criteria if i have to give addition additional selection parameter i have to give like okay in that particular vendor whatever invoices we have posted that only i want to see whatever the credit memo i have posted that only i want to see that to whatever invoices i have posted on so and so date that only i want to see that to again in that additional like whatever the invoices we have posted on so and so date against a particular terms of payment terms of payment is going to be discussed in later uh, session upcoming session so whatever the terms uh, uh, on a part against a particular terms of payment those invoices only supposed to appear 
So likewise, look at here how like if you talk about the selection criteria or it's like report supposed to appear based on so and so parameter. So that is going to be given here in this dynamic selections. This is what the use of dynamic selection guys. Okay, so that's all like uh, since uh, I got a message, what's the message yesterday itself. So I thought like, okay, let me record a video here also so that you guys also will come to me. So this is what the use of dynamic selection guys. That's all in this is.